Hi there, my name is Mike Kennecott. I'm with Funtown RV in Ottawa, Kansas. Sorry for squinting, the sun is right in my eyes. But let's get started on the tour of this 2023 Crossroads Hampton bunkhouse. Let's go. So starting off up here at the front, you'll have a dual propane cylinder setup. You will have a switch in there where you can switch between bottles with the flick of a switch. You'll have a manual front tongue jack along with manual leveling jacks as this is a destination trailer they are meant to be taken out and parked now this front i'm sure you saw these giant beautiful black accents up here with these big gorgeous bedroom windows those are a keeper so let's move along here to the right side of the unit uh, right here is going to be an under bed storage area so you're going to have access to be able to put things underneath your bed in the main unit right here. Moving along, you'll have a freshwater quick drain setup right, located right down here. You'll have a gas and electric hot water heater. There's a switch right in about right here. You just flip the switch. There's another panel on the inside. You go ahead and flip that switch in there as well, and that'll actually hook you up to electric hot water. This right here will be your exterior vents. If you're going to be parking it somewhere where there's a lot of uh, bug activity, I would highly recommend getting a small screen for that just to keep critters out of there and make the life of the camper go longer. Here you'll see fresh water connection along with your uh, flush. This will uh, flush your black tank out so there's no need to buy anything, hook a garden hose up and potentially get any waste on your hands. You'll have a city water connection as well as an exterior connection. So you can have water running to this, turn this on, have yourself a little garden hose going. Now with this having three tanks, count them, gray tank, black tank, gray tank. That means you'll have two spouts and three handles. You'll also have your fresh water connections right there for draining. Moving along, this is gonna be a dual axle and then right here inside of here, you're gonna have cable and satellite hookup inside of that little panel, along with, you can see my generator truck running, there's a bumper connection in the rear bumper for a 30 amp connector. Last view of the left side of the unit here, you will have two slides on this side. We'll go around to the right side, which is the main entrance side. Just right here, right off the gate, you'll have an awning that goes from about three foot back from the front all the way back to that slide right there. You'll have a beautiful sliding glass door along with your main bedroom entrance. Something I wanna highlight on this bedroom entrance is there is a peephole. So if somebody comes knocking on and you don't wanna see, you don't wanna come over to this door right here and actually see who's out there in your underwear, you can see who's coming out right there in that little peephole. Another thing you got going out here, you have an outdoor 120 GFI along with cable and satellite hookups right there. Now let's get inside and see what we got in here. Now moving in, this door here will be into the master bedroom. You're gonna have a small TV stand right here with a TV backer built into the wall. You're gonna have cable and satellite along with another 120 outlet. You'll have above the TV storage and below the TV storage. As far as dresser goes, you'll have three drawers here and two very large dresser cabinets in here. There is a small curtain rod up top there. Let me go ahead and get it in there for you. But you could potentially always mount another one sideways as well with as deep as this is, it's going to hold most anything you may need to put in there. So moving here to the left, you'll have a beautiful countertop here along with storage underneath this front nose. You'll have a dual USB port and a 120 on this side and a 120 on this side. Moving here, let me zoom out a little bit here and get you full scope of the bed. This is going to be a king size bed. So that storage compartment underneath there is going to store underneath here. It's a beautiful setup in here. You don't have very high ceilings. You have puck lights everywhere. You'll even have a couple of reading lights above the head of the bed. Now you'll have 
in ground or in the floor vents that's going to circulate air throughout the whole unit and here you'll have a full closet now this is going to be your water access for your bathroom which is going to be on the other side of the door you also have 120 outlets in there for a washer and dryer hookup you also have water line access for a panel right here now we're going to move out of the bedroom here and on our way out you'll see you have your master bedroom light switch along with your own master bedroom thermostat coming up you'll see more of those floor vents right here at the bottom of the stairs we'll just briefly go upstairs on the tail end of the upstairs you'll have a loft with one bed there are multiple airports up here just standing right here i'm getting all kinds of cold air with the ac going right now there's also going to be a little nook back here on this side with you know just for like toy storage clothes storage whatever have you that you'll also have a bedroom window up here and on the nose cap side you'll have not one but two beds around this corner is going to be a small storage nook along with another TV mounting area for upstairs storage. You'll have a 120 and a dual USB there and a window for each bed. You also have the main AC unit up here along with more puck lights. Now, this unit is set up for the Wingard Wi-Fi. So that is an available upgrade for you. I'll show you a little bit more about that here in just a few moments. Moving along, this is the hallway looking back towards the stairway in the master bedroom. We're gonna open this door up all the way and it swings all the way open. Now in here, you'll have a standard camper style toilet along with another one of those air vents and towel storage. Not a lot of campers come with towel storage, especially this much of it. In each one of these, you'll have two and then three so that's five shelves along with a towel rack you'll have a beautifully laminated shower wall lots of room in here and a full shower head not many campers come with these full shower heads but this is a destination so they got to go all out you'll have some underneath the sink storage here so you'll have there and then some drawers You'll have three of those drawers total. Moving up, this is gonna be your bathroom sink located directly beneath a dual vanity medicine cabinet. So, plenty more storage in there. And they leave room up top for anything else you may need to put up there. In here, you'll have your water heater control panel, your light switch for the bathroom, another 120 along with your fan speed controller. We'll go ahead and turn that off for now. Coming out, this is that beautiful sliding glass door. Fire extinguisher located right next to it for emergency purposes. Right here, you'll have the RV control panel. So you'll have all of your slides operated off of here. Your water pump, you'll have your kitchen lights, you'll have your galley, uh, galley lights, your living room lights, and your awning lights. This is going to be your awning in and out control. And then you can also monitor your battery and your tanks so you'll notice fresh water is empty black water is empty black water 2 is empty gray water 2 is empty galley is empty battery is full up here you'll have all of your light switches for everything else that is not located down here and then here is your wind guard connect switch so that's like I said, that is an option. You can set this up for Wi-Fi. Now, with all of those switches, there's another switch right here. Now, I want you to pay close attention to something I'm gonna show you here in just a second. You flip this switch on here, and you have a ceiling fan. A ceiling fan in a camper unit. Once again, while you're watching the fan, I'll flip the switch back off, and it is slowing down. So, moving along, you'll have the main living area AC control there. And then around the corner, you'll have a small storage nook. You can put a coffee pot or whatever you want right here. There is a 120 along with storage above that. 
and storage beneath it. Down here, you'll notice that little black thing right there and that big black square right there. That is a propane and carbon monoxide alert system. So what that'll do is that'll make sure you're not in here inhaling stuff that you're not supposed to. Now we're gonna open up the pantry here. Go ahead and get these double doors opened up. And you notice there's a light inside of the pantry. I've already come through, turned it on, but that lights up. There is a 120 in here. You have plenty of storage up top. There's no light up there, unfortunately, but you have a drawer in here as well and more storage down beneath. To close it, you'll simply just close that and then we'll go ahead and lock it in place. And then we close this side and it's closed. Moving over here, you'll have a full size residential refrigerator. You'll have a dual side refrigerator. Don't mind the mess, this is a brand new unit, so we still have the transportation cardboard and statements in here. So, installer, do not remove this label. Energy guide, we want whoever purchases this lovely camper to be the ones to take those off. In here, you'll have a freezer. Now, this doesn't look very deep, does it? You have a tray right here and a tray right here, but slide that out of the way you have deep storage inside of the freezer starting to see a theme here where you're going to have a lot of storage but wait there's more above the refrigerator you have a very deep storage compartment there we'll close that and we'll move along here to the four burner stove with cast iron grate now this is propane you have a panel light so you get a nice blue glow around those switches and a full-size oven. A full-size oven in a camper. Unheard of. You'll have this switch here, which turns on the puck lights above the stovetop, and then a full-size microwave. A full-size microwave in a camper. Now, not only is this a microwave, Confection combination. This is a toaster oven, also. Now, up here, like you thought, more storage. Now, this is gonna be where your power cable is gonna run to power the microwave. There is a 120 up here. It is a single outlet 120. It is designed only for the microwave. So, keep that in mind. Moving along, more storage. This is going to be your ownership documentation and some more storage compartments. And then next to the stove. You'll have your drawer with a TV remote, but I don't see a TV anywhere, do you? Give me a moment. A hideaway TV. Now this is going to be a 50 inch TV. You can see this thing from almost anywhere in the camper except for the bedroom. Now, when that comes out, that is a statement. You also have a fireplace for those chilly winter evenings, or if your kids are still waiting on Santa, you have an entrance. We'll go ahead and tuck this back in here. It's as simple as the click of a button to raise and lower this TV. You have tons of counter space when the TV is down, along with another 120. Now, moving into with the kitchen, you'll have another floor vent, but you guessed it, more storage, along with a beautiful double sink. Let me get one of these grates out of the way here. These are flexible grates. They go over the sink, and they keep anything in the sink in the sink. Also, you can pour drinks right through them into the sink but you have a very deep sink like that comes up almost to my elbow along with a beautiful industrial style faucet with multiple spray patterns now to put it back on doing this one-handed is a little bit difficult but i got it there you just slide these back into place and Voila. Moving to the back here, 
you'll have a storage compartment next to this lovely couch. Inside of that storage compartment is the space for whatever you may need to put in there, along with two 120s and two USB ports. Now, the other side of the couch, same thing. More storage, countertop space for the couch. You, it's a 120 and a dual USB. Now, it can't get much better than that, can it? But it can. Dual recliners. Now, I'm going to sit down to show you this part. These recliners. Are going. To allow you. To watch. TV. In comfort. But. I'm just showing the camper, so there's no comfort for me. So let's get right back to it. You've got dual cup holders, along with another storage compartment. Inside of here is another USB, along with, on the wall, another USB, with the light switch for these puck lights. Now, getting back up, you'll have a dinette with two beautiful wooden chairs you'll have a wooden tabletop with an extension wing and a wireless phone charger now you only have two chairs what's the other side going to sit on you have a bench built in with storage now you'll have more puck lights and just a 360 view of everything in here you're gonna have all around storage capability, living capability, everything capability. When this thing parks, you're not gonna wanna unpark it. Once again, my name is Mike Kennecott. I'm with Funtown RV in Ottawa, Kansas. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I look forward to earning your business. Thank you, take care.